Good afternoon, folks. Welcome. If, you, if you're returning to the stream today, welcome back. It's nice to see you. If this is your first stream of the day, welcome. It's nice to see you. Uh, we're going to be continuing our Seven Days to Die playthrough that I did last week. Um, going forward, uh, we will probably be taking this off the slot, just I needed this to kind of fill in the slot, honestly. Because... Um, yeah, there's. I don't know if that stuff with Minecraft was resolved yet. That could possibly be with us, me getting fucking hacked. So I'm not playing that. And this is fun and all, but next week I won't be streaming on Saturday. And the week after that, we'll be putting something else in this slot that I've been wanting to play for. Uh, it, it. Let's just say it's gonna be something nice and chill. But we're gonna get. We're gonna get a dive back into this. And go, go up to probably at least day 14 for the second horde. But before we start with that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail and gets LGBTQ folks out of jail. I have a donation button below the stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. And there'll be a QR code in the bottom of the, of the stream screen that you can scan to also go to the donation page. Any support to that is greatly appreciated. I'm also repping my friend Hotchko's sticker store. Below the stream to the left, you'll see this little bird icon. You click that, you'll get taken right there. You should definitely consider buying some, because they're all really, really good. Trans rights. All right. <laughs> oh, pokey. All right, let's boot this crap up. It says it's starting. I guess we'll see how long that takes. Um, excuse me. Come on. Come on, game. It's um, just kind of taking its time. It's saying it's running an install script for Microsoft VC Redistributable. Great. Don't you just love random updates you gotta do? Come on, you piece of junk. Well, I guess we're just going to be waiting for that, because, well, yeah. Hooray. Okay, the launcher finally, finally pulled up. Uh, no, don't do this. Blah, 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 blah. Run and save as default. Okay, game should be loading up now. It was doing something. I don't know what it was, but... Here we go. <clears throat> Eat some more of my peanut butter toast sandwich thing here. I've got lunch stuff on my um, my desk that I'll just be kind of eating during um, 
of course, of, like, the game loading and that kind of stuff. My days are a little shorter and this is like a temporary series kind of deal I probably should have um, raised the XP mul multiplier or something but eh, it's fine It's gonna take a second to kind of boot load up. Thankfully, it's not like you're having to create the whole map or anything like that. We're just kind of waiting now. Oh, wait. There's life. It's bloating. Almost there. We're almost in the world. One thing we're probably going to want to be doing is um, <clears throat> just like leveling up, so we might have to do some quests. We did get a bike, so it's not entirely out of the possibility of us getting uh, getting along a little better now quests because previously we'd have to be like hauling our asses across 
the world on foot. And if you've got too much stuff in your bag, you move really slow and you get back to quests from quests really slow. If you got the bike, you can kind of load yourself down as much as you really want. Which is nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't want random. Pe I don't want people just dropping in and like spawning something on my head when I'm playing this game. Maybe if I was doing something silly, but yeah. Oh yeah, I guess that mechanic is actually back in again. In older versions, you could distract them with like a rock or something, but I think for a while it wasn't working right, so they probably took it out. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's something else we probably want to do is build some pocket mods. Maybe I'll do that first. We should have some stuff kind of laying around for that. Alright. Here we are. Home sweet home. Uh, let's see. For that, we'd probably need some sewing kits, like some cloth, uh, maybe some plastic. I don't know. Let's find out. Clothing pocket mod, leather, leather and duct tape. Okay, we can add a we can add a thing, but I wasn't sure. And our duster, so we need three of those. So do we have we have plenty of leather, okay? And um, duct tape, we probably used that all up. No, we have a little bit, and we probably have some glue. Yeah. Just gonna make all of them. Let's see. Yeah, this is kind of in our home. But we might want to consider, like, we might not end up staying here. I mean, this base here would more than survive the first horde to the point where, like, I just kind of kill everything with my spear. But at some point, we probably would want it to move elsewhere. But that point might not come this stream just because, well, at least for the, the foreseeable future, this game's going to get put, like, on the sidelines. I might play it on my own time on a different file, but not like not this one. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, pocket mods. Okay, I put that away, that away, that away, that away. We do have a quest. We can do that. We can start doing that. Where's our bicycle? <clears throat> you know how many skill points? We don't. I think we used them like during the horde night itself. Um, I want to get these higher so we can eventually start using iron tools more and be a bit more efficient at getting stuff. Oh, okay, game. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, our, our things are done. Let's take care of that real fast. Okay, one on you. One on you. And that basically makes one... 
Like, these slots that are unlocked are basically, um, one, like, where you won't be encumbered if stuff is in that slot. So by crafting those things, we have made it to where we can carry three more items without being slowed down, which would have been smart to make that a lot sooner, but, you know, live, let live, or whatever. Now, a funny trick I did hear someone say is, like, if you do this, you still get the loot from the trash, but you also can get, like, paper and plastic out of it. Might not be something we have to worry about. Ooh, got him. <laughs> Popped him right in the snoot. Okay. Before we reset this place, we're gonna loot the cars. Because they will not be the same cars. Because when you activate the quest, it resets the POI that you're in there so that there's no like weirdness going on. Like the quest being un impossible or something like that. Ooh, two duct tape. I'll take that for sure. What do I have here? Is this... I hear a crawler. Where are you? I see a chicken too. Don't mind if I do. Oh. It's like weird lag spikes like that for me. I don't know if that's like my PC or what the deal is. Ooh, you're, ooh, you're wiggly. Why are you still wiggling? Okay, you're done. He's done wiggling. <laughs> no more wiggling. The wiggles are for er. I shouldn't be wasting my time doing that. Rabbits are hard to hit. If I didn't hit with the first one, I should have just stopped. Yeah, see, I got, like, extra plastic out of that. Granted, I don't think that's necessary, strictly, but... It doesn't take much longer, and we still get, we get more resources out of it, so... Aw, oh, you little bastard. Oh, you didn't really move very far, did you? Alright, well... He's like, that's my rabbit. That is, in fact, not your rabbit, sir. Uh, let's check around see if there's anything else of interest. These tires are of interest because they give you plastic parts pretty handily. There's also a working stiff tools truck out here. Okay. Now we're doing all this before we go in because there might be some good, like this back here is just, just I would have missed this entirely. Alright, never mind. I was gonna say we could break that too, but like, mm. There's a doggy. Sneaky bitches hiding the frickin' zombie dog back there. Alright, well. Ooh, what do we have here? Locked. Okay. Uh, let's skip this. I think we have a few books. Let's, uh, read those. Tools Digest? Okay. I gotta keep my mind be mindful of how much time I'm spending. Oh, I probably could have gotten something from this. Yeah, all these cars are different out here now. Ooh, better shovel. Hurry up, he's coming.
It's a tier 2 quest. These are some of the best ones just because of how quick they are to do. Let's see. Let's get my bicycle here. Let's put some stuff like that's going to sell. Might not get more of that. If there's stuff we're not probably not going to get more of, I'm going to probably try to leave it in the, uh, leave it in the car. Then again, we still, we still might just still get some of the shit anyway. But if I'm like, okay, cool. My car, I mean bike. Okay. Someone's behind this counter, almost certainly. No. Ooh, you're just dead, aren't you? So are you. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. That's the way forward. Make sure I didn't miss any goodies. Ooh, acid. That's a goodie. I would consider that quite a goodie. Um, some spoiled trash. That's me. It's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a ladder here. Hopefully it doesn't like break on me or something. Huh. Oh. Okay, there's probably a bird or two up here. Or a dude just gonna show up. Or dudes, rather. Let's kinda get over here. And... If there's any birds up here, I wanna get rid of them. Yeah, these, these zombies on this normal difficulty are not very threatening. Which is fine. Ooh, do we have anything fun in here? I don't really know. It's a little, it's a little hard for me to get into there. I kind of wanted to get up there. We can cheese our way up there with frames like this is fucking Minecraft. Ooh, we, have, we do have a bag up here. Oh, that's a wandering horde, isn't it? Mm, Alright. And we got a bird's nest. Wonder if this works that way too. It does. You can, because normally when you break these containers, you don't, you like loot them and they they get destroyed. But now, but well, but you can uh, you can loot them until it shows you the loot, and then you can just kind of break the container. Do that. There we go. Oh, they made, they, they made, well, you made your way up here. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll find me. If not, that's not my problem. Okay, I think it was up here. That need to drop into, up. Oh. Oh great, lag spike. Well, that one's dead. I'm guessing they broke into there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's 
because we're gonna loot the shit out of all this. <clears throat> we got a puppy. I do not take I do not take chances with these dogs. The cannibal just make you bleed out right out your butthole. I'll take it. Maybe that dude was just kind of out here. Come on, game. Lost your head, hun. Like half of it, precisely. Lost part of your head too, buddy. Ooh, goodies. Nah, I'm in no hurry. Okay. Just jumping around, climbing on shelves like a hooligan. <laughs> okay. Okay, the enemies in this POI are dead. Okay, so that's the, so we're gonna just kinda take the rest of our time as necessary to just loot the area. Ooh, goodies. More goodies. More goodies. It's now nighttime, and here's the loot room. Uh. Oh. That's the back door. Close that for now. Till I figure. Till I finish getting all the stuff. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch of junk. Let's get rid of that because grass fiber we can get anywhere. Uh, hunger wise, I think we can use these. Oh, those are peas. Uh, shit. I think I'll survive without the 
the frickin' paper. some stuff away if it'll fit. All right, back to the back to the looting cuz I'm not done. Well, I mean, I can just use this. That's not bad. And I can use these. Boiled meat and yucca juice. Nice. I'll just... <laughs> I think that's about all the stuff out of here that's um, worth the shit. Although I am curious about... Oh, there's another crate here. Again, we'll get rid of the paper for the corn, and I want to carry this with me too. So let's see. Um, I could probably let go of the one animal fat, because. Yeah, we can get rid of one animal fat. We'll get more animal fat. And we got trash up here with a chrysanthemum seed. Mm. Mm. Should I try to make room for that? I probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Technically more more worth it than one piece of corn, but that's food. So, uh, we'll scrap these. Once we, we actually have a wrench, so springs won't be that big of a deal anyway. So, yeah, we'll do that. All right. I f figured that's what it was going to do. I guess the real question is, did this get reset? Oh, it did. Okay. How did I miss this slow walking dude? Didn't miss him that time. Let's see what's in here and then we'll have to make some hard decisions that after that. <laughs> Oh, it's just a, a book. Well, alright, that makes things easy on me. I can just leave. You're trying so hard, and I, so am I. <laughs> Seriously? Actually, and I think about it, that's probably where the animal fat came from, is this rabbit. Get 
Get off the fucking rabbit, you prick. That's my rabbit. I realize you can use that to kind of like lure zombies now, in a sense. Yeah, I want to. I need to get this right. I don't think. That, uh, hopefully, we get all the meat from this because I don't think he actually started chewing on it. Yeah, we got all the meat from it. Cool. cool. Stone arrow. No, I think we got the 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 animal fat from the zombie dog. Because I don't think the rabbit's got much fat on it. Okay. We're just gonna head this way. Bike just normal speed, because I think that makes less noise. And we will return to our current home. I'll probably dump stuff off and until morning comes, um, oh. Wow, my cup overrunneth, Lord. <laughs> oh, well. Waste not, want not. Where's where's the bird? Oh, it's over here. We definitely want to get that deer too. I'm so heavy. <laughs> like even with all my, even with the um, pocket thingies, I'm so damn heavy. Uh, let's scrap. We can make nails. So yeah, let's scrap the nails, then we can get this deer. So yeah, this thing will give us at least, probably at least two or three animal fat. Yeah, and I wanna, I do want that. I just at the at the moment there, I didn't really need it from that raid. Okay, and let's just kind of sneak into here. Barely fit our bloated carcasses over the fence. Well, but this thing's like full, and I've just ignored it completely. I'm almost there. Ah, uh, we made it. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, uh, money goes up here, as does that, although we could probably repair that real fast with some iron scrap. For later adventures. Okay, cool. How you doing, dude? How you doing? Oh yeah, you're almost uh, you're almost done there. Free water would take it. I probably need another um, chest for just like liquid, liquid courage, or just liquid in general. Yeah, let's make another uh, little chest here. I mean, they're very cheap anyway. It's like ten wood for a lot of storage space, so. We'll just kind of put it... Uh, I want it there. Ooh, I can act to actually take this pipe apart. Well, oh, that's kind of... Well, let's grab all of our liquids. Like water and the like. And we'll move it to the other one. Granted, there's not much, but it's still nice to have it separated out so that if we know we need to drink something, we can just grab some stuff from there. Okay. I think we also need to go empty out the bicycle. So let's 
grab that. And I probably could have picked a better place to live, but this place is close to the trader, so that's kind of why I chose it. Come on, you're basically there. I'm gonna sit here and eat my food. I'm only wait for that to finish. So I'm just squirt out the dew, it's fine. No, I'll make sure nobody watches while you do it. <laughs> So roughly probably around like 5 a.m. every day it was when that thing should be done. Nice. All right, let's drink one of these. And I'll probably try to grab something to munch on too while we're here. Hmm. How much do you? 45. 60, 53. Yeah, we'll eat this. It won't go completely to waste. Like if there's like extra hunger stuff left on it, it'll just kind of like sit in our stomachs and keep us full. I kind of want to go through this place. We'll see what the we'll see what the trader gives us, and then we'll go from there because. Come on, game. It's fine. Uh, oh, they made this place, this grain elevator, a lot more durable than it used to be. I'll tell you that. <laughs> we might have to actually, you know, engage with the thing. Or we can just cheat. Well, not like cheat, but like circumvent <laughs> game mechanics. That's not exactly where I wanted to put it. We can ladder our asses up there. We can actually get up on here. I wonder, is there anything up here? Oh, there is, okay. That's, that's food. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go down now, and we're gonna go down into here, because there's, underneath the hay, there should be a box that may be of interest to us. Hidden stash, what we got? Ooh. Hey, yeah, that's some money, and that's some bullet. Ooh, especially the 7.62, we've been kind of like... Low and I, I'm, I'm basically saving up for emergencies, like zombie dogs and the like. I don't like how this looks, so we're gonna... Do that. And then we can take our little guy back here. He's just a little guy. It's precarious getting down these ladders, so I wanted to be very careful. Okay, and then we'll just kind of take our thingies back. All right, <laughs> let's run back in, grab stuff that we can sell, and we'll talk to the trade. We'll talk to old Joel there. Well, it sounds like we have a visitor. Yeah, we'll just we'll just offload all that stuff right now. Not really any reason to hold on to it for too long, cause, well, for at least the near future, we won't be playing this like. Oop. Oh, you lost a hand. 
Can I make you lose the- oh, well, my stamina is a little dry. Say, so can we move, make you lose the other? <laughs> Yeah, the problem with wearing all this, like, heavy armor is that, um, it tends to slow you down and make take up a lot of stamina. But it does keep your ass alive, so I do like that. I like that about, you know, I like that part. <laughs> Being alive part's pretty good. Let's see, what is this? No, we already have a duster. Steel! Mm, that's kind of tempting. Uh, save us a lot of effort. A wholesale just pistol wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'd say over the things, the, the steel is probably the best bet. Uh, let's see, fetch clear. Would you kindly help me with Ooh, shamway. You the man. Let's see if there's anything of interest in his inventory because he's changing his stock tomorrow. Uh, not specifically there. Let's see. We already have a water filter. We don't really need more because we're getting, we're raiding a lot of uh, food places right now, so we don't really need more water. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we just got to the stuff that he already has. Alright, well. Not much there. Let's check out the vending machines, though. Yes, we'll, I'll, I'll gladly spend a lot of my money on this because this gets you 20% uh, more XP. That's something you use on Horde Knights. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Tuna is pretty low recovery. Jailbreakers is of interest, though. Because if there's like some safes you need to get into, we can use that, and then for the duration, we have a hundred percent chance to pick them. So that's generally a very good thing to have on hand. Unless you have a really high skill in like lock picking or just the ability to make a lot of lock picks. Oh. All right. Yeah, let's go drop some stuff off. Let's see, let's get some bones, fix our knife. It's not like super imperative to do so, but. Eh, I'll bring that with us. You never know when we're gonna actually need it. Okay, that goes in there. I'll probably move the gunpowder in there as well. <laughs> okay. Anything else of interest? No, oh, I need to put these blueberries away. Uh, what can we do with these? We actually can make blueberry pies, but I'd probably be smarter to turn most of these blueberries into seeds eventually. Oh, we do have a skill point. We're almost to another level, too. Um, let's see. 
Hmm. See, I grabbed a skill point in this because I was hoping I'd be able to like get one for a horde knight, but I haven't really found one yet. So. Hmm. Let's get one of these, but we we don't have a um. Um, tip to put in there. Let me see. Workstations is what I'm looking for. Uh, workbench. Where's the workbench? Do I already know the workbench? Apparently I do. Okay, well, that's kind of changes my plans. We need to get a workbench made as soon as possible. Let's see if I have the stuff for that. So was I making forged iron here? I, I might have at some point, but we have some. Uh, I know there's like mechanical parts we'd need. We have exactly half. We need five duct tape, which we do have that. Get like just the supplies we need for this. Okay. Well, that makes things a little easier. Uh, do we? How many nails do we have? If we have any at all, I've not really been bringing them back like on purpose because we can just make them. But well, let's see. Nails take one each, so we need seventy-four nails. I'll take like a minute. Let's put another piece of wood in there. While that's going, let's I guess get some more clay soil or something. Cause I know I was doing this nonsense here. Oh, with this new shovel here, we've got three shots on this. I, sh I should be, um, I'm gonna dig this up and then we'll replace, I think it was 10. And we'll make 10 dirt and we'll like run around and do something else. Yep, that was 10 dirt, so let's do dirt, so make 10 dirt, and while we're at it, let's go to our skill points, and we're going to put that point we had into salvage operations. So now when we take stuff apart, like old tractor here, we should get more stuff out of it. Well, this is going to be a, an ordeal. That's okay. takes a lot of stamina. Alright, a lot of stamina I don't really have to really do that quite like that before. There's probably better ways for me to get the mechanical parts. We'll come back to that. Maybe we should get this car instead. Might be a better choice. Or maybe one of these ones. Oh, apparently I didn't search the register before. I don't know how, but. Like, I know there's some stuff around here we can probably take apart. Yeah, these ca cars are a great thing to take apart, take apart for mechanical parts and the like, so. The nails are probably already done. 
Unfortunately, this act I'm doing now is gonna like delay us getting to other stuff, like going to do that quest. Ah, oh, we are one short. We'll probably just take apart these screens. Well, that didn't really get me what I needed. Oh, that's what that sound was. I was like, what is that sound? That is the sound of my my wrench breaking. <laughs> okay, there's our nails that we need for that. We got a tier six battery. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, so we need one mechanical part. We need a oh we have repair kits, that's good. While we're at it, though, let's... Kind of modify this and... No, we modify this because we want our... Our wrench to have more durability for the long haul, so that will help that. And also give it more block damage. Anyway. There's our part. All right, craft the five minutes. Well, I guess we're not gonna do anything else today, so let's just kind of run around and do stuff like this, I guess. Oh, we got an engine, that's good. Eventually, uh, eventually if we get that far in this, we could use that for making like a mini bike or something. Just kind of take apart some of this stuff like this. Uh, five more minutes in general, so yeah, we'll just do this. It's useful stuff to be doing to get other things that we will want on eventually anyway, so. Get a good amount of gas and mechanical parts and iron and stuff. Well, dang, we're really fucking this thing up, aren't we? <laughs> Blah! Got him. There's a lot of cars around here. Well, at least, like, in that parking lot there is. Um, you don't need that. That's mine. Just kind of take apart the stuff in... <laughs> in the restaurant now. Not worth. Power attacks make it work temporarily. You don't regain stamina, so. You only really want to do them if you, like, you know you're gonna, like, be able to kind of, like, get it gone. Okay. Nice, okay, well. These are all mine now. I wonder if this is like on top of this block or if it's like. Oh! Interesting, huh? Well, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. <laughs> well, Harry's definitely in a hurry, but so am I. Uh, two more fucking minutes, goddamn. Um,. These can be sold for decent money. I usually end up doing that. 
Those are weapon parts. The dirt is back, so we could probably place it down and do that if we really want to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll probably just do that for the remainder of the time because we're going to want to um, get more cobblestone made so that we can repair and upgrade this thing. This thing did serve me rather well during the horde. They did not get... Oh, we got some friends that just spawned in. Oh, come on. Let's just go meet them in the field of battle. Or at least down here. Well, that one didn't quite die. They made these wandering hordes have a higher chance of dropping loot bags. Which is nice, because otherwise you'd previously just kind of like avoid them or whatever. Because they're just like extra zombies. Oh, there's a few more than I uh, thought. Right in the booty hole. I know one, I was like, I know one of you dropped a loot bag somewhere. What we got? Another duster. Technically better than the one we have. So that's technically an upgrade without really even doing anything. Take We take those. 16.8. It might, it might be what makes the difference between like sweltering in heat and not sweltering in heat. So you just kind of take those. Joe Bros Builders, okay. Stepped in some goo. Goo! <laughs> Let's grab our, our dirty, dirty dirt. Okay, and I'll be there for next time we want to do anything with it. The main reason we want to have this workbench in the first place is, well, other than some recipes requiring it, you know, like some recipes need it. I just realized I was randomly transformed. Well, it's nice to see my things working again, but just kind of like not really the, not really the time for it. <laughs> but um, yeah, like some some recipes require a workbench in general. Break this. Thankfully, this wrench can hurt metal stuff pretty decently. Like, let's see how much this would do. I mean, it's faster, so. Pro and smart doing it that, but. Our workbench is done, and you need workbenches for some crafts in general. There we go. Oh, it's got a little light. That's cute. Some things require them for crafting. And also you can use it just in general to craft stuff while you're, like, out and about, which is kind of what I was planning on doing. So let's get another, like, 200, uh cobblestone crafting while we're just like away put that on and then let's drink this Did I put this in the cooking, the food stuff? I did. We have a decent amount of, of this because I've been tearing apart a lot of those uh, corpse piles or whatever. 
I'll probably keep doing that. But yeah, at this point, it's a little late in the evening for me to go try to do that quest, so we're gonna just kind of mill around and do other things. Jesus Christ. Hmm, I wonder how strong the flooring in here is, because if it's not too strong, we can get to, like... Okay, that's 5k. That's all... I have a feeling the flooring in here is very strong, so... For what I was wanting to do, we're probably gonna want to, uh, just... Dig down... Like... On the side of the road or something over here because I was wanting to get to um, the stone layer down below so I could just mine stone because that's the easiest way to get it so we're gonna dig a little diggy hole oh wait there has to level up um, great um, I could get salvage operations, but it might be in our best interest to try getting, uh, what's that take? Oh, strength level 2? Yeah, let's get strength 2. And the next level up we get, we can, uh, next level up we get, we can get... ourselves um, another level on that which make will make us do more damage to blocks and take less use less stamina for it too I also want to make sure I can get like in and out of there. There we go, we finally found some stone. So now we can just kind of get down here and get some stone that we need to make cobblestone in the lake. Much more easily. We'll go one more down, and then place a solid block down, then start just mining out a bunch of stone. Like these bo these blocks are like diamond little things. And then what we can do is put like a 
get a hatch made. Put it on top of this so that zombies don't randomly stumble in on us while we're mining. There we go. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna crouch down here and mine a bunch of stone. Let's, let's see where that get, takes us. It's not super exciting, but early game, unless you're writing a bunch of POIs that have stone in them, this, there's not really much better way of really doing it. Probably gonna move this down to my hot bar here. So I can see how much I have. We already got like 400. It's pretty good, all things considered. I wonder if I should have gone deeper. So that less chance of zombies kind of showing up. Well, not so much showing up as much as it's like less chance of them hearing me. Probably need to break these blocks going uh, down into it as well. Oh, see a dude jumping around over there. Probably should have just dug the, the trench three down to begin with anyway, but I actually couldn't think of I do need that one to be broken. It's like someone got caught on barbed wire. Hee hee. Hee hee. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I, I hee heed a little too hard, I guess. to uh, deal with this dude. Oh, dealt with him. He has been similarly dealt with.
I'm not gonna strictly do this all the way down. But this just gets us more stuff anyway, so. Realize there's like a bit of ladder missing here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, we can fix that pretty easily. And yeah, let's kind of come out of wood. Oh shit. Fix, fix. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. No, stop. Hitting the wrong shit. It'll make it easier to not get stuck on like the wall going in and out of this place. Excuse you. Why the hell are you hitting the wood when I'm literally looking right at the freaking looking looking right at the um How much wood do I have left? One, uh, literally one. Maybe I should go cut down a tree. Probably should cut down a tree. I probably should. And this will just make it much easier for me to get in and out of this hole. Hi, worm. Why do you look like that? What is this hit detection? Hit the damn block I'm pointing at. Do I need to get closer? I, gu I guess. <laughs> Mow? What you looking at, buddy? I would say this is a well a night well spent doing this kind of stuff at least though cuz before we leave to go do that quest we can uh just craft up a, a bunch of cobblestone that uh, I think that I think that's what what worm was meowing at for, at me for he's chasing he's chasing this round this ball around the house now I wasn't sure if these were ones I planted or not. 
But I'm cutting them down anyway because they're kind of in the way. So while we're at it, we'll cut down this one too, since we're already kind of on like the tree murder spree. All right, well, let's replant the seeds somewhere. Right there. I, I don't want to plant these trees near. Um, Oh, they can be that close? I, th I think they used to be... Yeah, they had to be farther apart, but, I mean, that's fine. Alright, so... We can currently make, like, 770 more cobblestone. Let's go get that started in our bench. Oh, we are hungry. Okay, well, let's see what we have meal-wise to do. We've got lots of meat, because I've been kind of just killing everything I find. Mm, that's some water and hunger. That's more water, more hunger. Um, yeah, let's eat this. Give us a nice bit of thirst too, and could have sworn I made a bun either a bunch of water or a bunch of red tea. Uh, kind of both actually. <laughs> Turns out. I'll drink two of those. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our iron here we'll just get more smelting down while we're gone okay there's our load out gonna have that smelting let's fix up our shit and we'll start pedaling All right, nice. We'll grab those so that it can start doing its thing while we're gone. And we are off. I apologize if it wasn't extremely exciting to watch me just dig underground all night, but that's kind of what you have to do some days in this game, is just get resources so you can make your base. Them's the bricks. Oh wow, we are cold. We are we're soaked. That's why we're cold. Hmm. I check these out. Okay, I did. What do we have here? Not not the hope. Not the hotel. Come on, game. It's fine. I promise. Was it? No. Admittedly, I have this game on my uh, my standard um, magnetic drive, my terabyte. That's a lot slower than my SSD that my OS is on. So that might be why it's doing a little thingies there. Kind of grabbing a little miscellaneous bits of stuff. I'll definitely take some concrete. These things give um, 
some cobblestone rocks, mostly just like sand and rock and whatever, which it's not the worst, but they're definitely nowhere near as good as they used to be. Ooh, more lockpicks. That's a good find. Let's see. This is a shit. This is a food place, so we're probably gonna end up finding more, well, food stuff, as you may as you may expect. Uh, let's see. I'd imagine this might be part of the POI here. So let's grab whatever we can out of like these vehicles out front. This one might not be, but. Steel spear parts in the trash. Oh yeah, this is the trap room in this POI that if you slip, you fall into it, like there's like just like a few zombies to just try to murder you. Did they get? Oh, they got out. Okay. Oh. Well, there's a lot of stuff to break apart in here for, uh... We haven't even started the raid yet. I'm just doing these bodies because this is good, like, good materials. I guess this door is unlocked. I'm just gonna kill all these zombies. Okay, cool. I wasn't planning on double looting this place. But I might now, because it kind of came in here anyway. Excuse you. Hoomst. Yeah, this place looks real good. They put a lot of effort into, like, revamping. It seems like a lot of the POIs, if not almost all of them in the game. With, like, a lot of the stuff like these little shelves. At this point, we're just gonna double loot this place. Vending machine, huh? Ooh, I'd like those red teas, but we can just make those. Hi, hi, where me? The buddy. I'll take this. Definitely take this wood. One of the fastest and easiest ways to get wood is just from these like, those, like wood piles. And up, up, up. The update where it shows stuff like on the shelves and then disappearing is a mate is massive because now you don't have to worry about oh did I miss some loot somewhere on some shelves? The answer now is only if you weren't paying attention. Ooh, mushroom spores. Let's go to the produce aisle and grab some goodies. Goodies in extreme air quotes. Yeah, this is definitely the type of place you'd, you should, like, double loot if you're playing, like, multiplayer. Because of just how much food you can get from these places. I 
originally I wasn't planning to double loot this place. I just, I was gonna come, I just kinda came in there to kill the zombies and then kinda got a little lost in just grabbing all the stuff and killing the zombies. Like, you know what, whatever. We'll just do it. I'm, I might have to like leave and come back after looting this place because I'm just already so full of stuff. Lots of goodies. We're now, we're now up to like seven lock picks because of all the just the little stuff on the shelves. Is that little guy in there? He probably. I think he's in one of the coolers behind the coolers. Oh yeah, I can see his little arms. <laughs> Also, yeah, they also have these uh, bodies in here, which are a good source of uh, rotten flesh and bones. Both very useful things that you want as much of as you can probably get. God, we're so we're so weighed down. I'm gonna check these registers, see if they've got any stuff in. Well. I didn't know this door was actually usable, so. Okay, we're already went through there. Let's check this side. Ooh, there's a big, big food pile up there. Grab the. Oh, we are so full of stuff. I don't need the paper. There is a POI that specifically. It's called like a paper mill that has tons of paper if you really need paper. Uh, stones, clay, we, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take these apart. Oh no, three paper. If we're spending like the majority of our time today here, we're gonna get as much out of it as we can. I might not grab these little guys the second time around, but definitely am now because it's gonna get reset anyway. And these shamway crates can have nice stuff in them these days. Even if it's just like canned food, that's still pretty good. Plus plenty of beverages for the for the dessert for the discerning survivor. Hmm. Not that one. Not that door. Um. I think this is where the end loot for the place is. I'm gonna shoot you in like the foot. Beak. Oh, you're one of those. Come here. So I can see you. You big bitch. It's like the radiation dudes. He was also a feral. <laughs> Ooh. Goodness. Yeah, pretty sure we went in like completely backwards. He's like, I'm free! <laughs> and then we just kill him instantly. Oh, rest in peace, little buddy. Um, ooh, we got some stuff back here. It's the sand. Uh, we could probably figure out some way to. Yeah, let's use these feathers. I need more arrows anyway. Ooh, there's an airdrop somewhere. See, the uh, the airdrops, if you leave the session and come back, 
the green, the yellow things would be gone, but that's why I place these little tents like that. So that in case I don't get to them, I can still go find them. Jeez, a lot of shit. Um, beef ration, miso, just eat that. Just use that and we'll just take the other stuff. So I think this is the way you're usually supposed to go, is you come back here, you go around, you come in here, and you go up, and then there's like shenanigans on the roof. Because of course there's shenanigans on the roof. And um, before that though, we are going to go through the back way again. The machine, okay. Ooh, sugar butts. Rocket launcher parts in the garbage. You love to see it. Get some doo doo water as we as you need as you like. Uh, it's I got a little forklift. That's flour, some gas. You gonna need to duck out back and. Put some stuff in our bike. So heavy, and this bicycle unfortunately doesn't have much room in it. A mini bike would be amazing for that. Hello, chicken. I think a chicken was like stuck in something. Okay, well, that can go away. That can go away. We're just gonna put away stuff that's like not strictly gonna be gettable more than once in this place because like oil probably not all that's other stuff though there's a distinct chance that we'll get more of it if we when we come back through uh, but for the moment let's just eat the pears and put the brass away all right let's get this damn bike closer to this to the start too because we can leave pretty easily that way as well. Eh, it's fine. Now let's get stuff from the back room here. Some more cornmeal, some more of this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get as much of this as we can out of the rest of this store. I think those bags are just nothing but clay soil in them. That's pretty good, too. Some more cornmeal. Even more cornmeal. These ones are more clay. Not a bit, not, not a bad find considering how easy it is for us to just dig up more stones at night like that cuz yeah that was pretty easy now if I wanted to be extra stinky we could like even take this apart but I'm not gonna really worry that much I'm just gonna get like the stuff in the back room here stack up like-minded like similar stuff in case stack up like stuff with each other to make sure we have space for whatever's in our loot room here because I mean there's still going to be some stuff to loot in this room here I didn't really quite get to it oh a grill I don't know if I have one of those back at base all right now here's the the winner, the, the place you want to be. Some ammo. Grab those, grab more of those. Other trunk. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. Everything else is kind of. bad. I mean, it's not like the worst loot, but it's definitely not like. 
super exceptional at this very second. Scope's nice, but that could have been a, a much nicer, uh... I'm, I was sitting here complaining, like, we're not gonna just do this again anyway. <laughs> After I kind of scoop out all the goodies. Okay, and I think that was Southern Farming. Yeah, I don't like that's gonna do much for us. Um, is there something up here? Nah, probably not. Now there's probably stuff on the roof. But I don't know if I care. Like, it's probably, like, just birds and shit. And I just don't have the space for that. Back up our bike and let's get the fuck out of here. We're not really that far from home, so yeah, we'll just run over. Ooh. Game, it's fine, it's okay. <laughs> we'll just hurry back to hurry, Harry's. I think our inventory is too full to even think about grabbing anything from there. What? What? What are you doing here? Kablam! Oh, nice, nice shot. I'm also just like an insufferable pack rat, so I'll just take literally everything in there. Unless it's like stuff I literally can't or don't want to use. Okay, now there's a grill. Oh yeah, it's just a little grill in there. That's cool. I like that. Okay, I think there was a Sugar Butts candy in a... Uh... In there. Let's get another like 16 coins. I think there's like a Sugar Butts candy for sale on one of those vending machines, and that's very much worth our time to go get that because that's like extra value. If we could like take use that on our trade run. Okay, now let's head back there, figure out oh. if there's anything on the roof that's worth a shit. There's probably not, and then after that we'll start the quest, clear all the zombies. Come on, game. It's fine. I hear a bird. Why is there a bird? Are they just following me? They might be. Anyway. Let's, like, run through here real quick. to the roof and see if there's anything up here of interest
I got that one. Ah! Whatever. I'm surprised the zombies didn't fucking wake up. <laughs> At this point. Gotcha. Are you serious? Worst time not to reload ever. Right. <laughs> I should take apart these birds. Yeah, as I, as as I was thinking, there's probably there's not like much up here that's like worth a shit. Birds are worth harvesting, though. Toolbox. Buck picks. Okay. And our little trash. Alright, let's drop stuff off of my bike and then. Ooh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That could have been uh, bad. Actually, before that, there was that sugar butts, I believe, in this vending machine. Yep. You want that? Definitely. Let's get this done and get the zombies killed before it gets too dark. Alright. Okay, we need to get this. We need to get the supplies, which are somewhere, probably in the little back room there. Ooh, an extra. Nice. Okay. Oh, the supplies are out there. No, they're right. They're right here. All right, well, there's half it. The other half is going to be going up to the rooftop here and killing these zombies and then clearing out the rest of the store. Well, I guess that worked. I don't even know what I'm grabbing. I'm just kind of going. Oh! Fucking shit, shit ass bird. Trying to get, trying to get me. A lot of birds' nests up here. We have a level up. Nice. Grab this guy because he's just up here. Ah! I'm glad I fell where I did because if I would have fell in there, like I said, there's like it's like that's like a death trap. Hello. 
All right, well, those guys are all dead. You know what? Fuck this. Wakey, wakey, bitch. Okay, he's dead. And then we'll come back here. Uh, actually, I don't think I don't know if we'll make it back in time to turn the quest in, so we might as well just kind of loot, start looting stuff. It's mostly better just to kind of get the zombies dead before it gets nighttime, where they'll all run really fast. Ooh, we made blueberry seeds now. That's a little better, like tangibly better than the last one. Uh, can this go in the shovel? Get this? It can. For now, that's good. like this back area puffer coat looks like I might as well grab this kind of stuff. A lot of cornmeal, which you can use to make lots of nice things. So, Looks like I've already kind of got some of the stuff from this, so I might as well just get this too. I was gonna like not bother with those, but looks like I already have been bothering with them, so yeah, great. So a quick wait point here so we can come back after we go back to our base to drop stuff off because we are like way too full to get this rest of the stuff in this POI.
Oh, that's paper. I wasn't trying to hit that. Whatever. It's a little too late now. We can't just put it back together. Like fucking Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Really? Really, game? You're gonna just do this to me like that? There we go. I mean, there's a chance I could get all the stuff back out of here if I, by just, like, looting, but we're gonna go home, drop off, and then we'll come back and get... Uh, the rest of the loot from out of there. It's just more reliable to do it that way. Less worry about running out of space. don't seem very observant. Frankly surprised you just kind of lost the semi that easily. I'm not that good at stealth, am I? I don't... Are you kidding me? Shoot the fucking zombie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. It's like aiming right where you're, where you know the arrow should be going, and then it just doesn't get there. Now, admittedly, um, uh, the this permanent bow is shit doo doo ass. It's very, it's very bad, very bad bow. As you may expect from like. The this beginner level bow that you can make like five seconds out of the out of the gate. It's not very good. Come, come the fuck on. There we go. I think my problem is I need to be aiming more to the left, maybe. I'll tell you one thing though, I'm tired of fucking climbing over this shit every time I want to go in, so. We're gonna go loot the other, the rest of that store. But then once we come back, I might try to just beating down that door that we had there so I can, you know, actually leave and enter like a normal human being. Yeah, I definitely need to be aiming more to the left. And maybe choosing my fights a little better. I mean, that went pretty well. Despite her being very obviously a feral. You're probably a feral too, aren't you? I can't see your eyes. No, you, you dropped like a sack of shit. You're not a feral. <laughs> I've been getting pretty I've been getting pretty lucky with the ferals like going down pretty easily like getting lucky and just like hitting them before they kind of see me and then just taking them out 
It helps that they buffed the bejesus out of the spear, which is the, you know, the weapon I'm using. We do have skill points though, so I'm gonna use that to get this. Increases tool damage, reduces stamina use. That'll make everything more efficient for us to do with uh, like our axe here. Oh. Gotcha. Boop. I was wondering what he's doing. Well. Out of the fucking way. Maybe I should put this on the knife. So maybe that'll make it to where the knife can get more one shots with its uh, power attack. Oh, close. I need more of these grip thingies, in general. Uh, eh. I mean, if it's not gonna actually matter, I'll move that back to the axe, because that, that gives the axe tangibly more attack damage for blocks, so it's worth it. Right. Alright, let's start from this side of the store, I guess, and uh, work our way back. <laughs> well, get your ass in here then, huh? <laughs> Like, I'm barely even paying attention to what the game has given me from this stuff. I'm just grabbing everything. For the most part, you'll just kind of want a bit of everything anyway, so... Might as well just kind of grab it. Grab it as quick as possible. And in the old, in the old, in Alpha 20, these, uh, I probably said it like several times now, but like these little pallet things were way better than they are now because previously you get like 35 or 40 or something cobblestone rocks from each, which means you can just dig up a bunch of them and then you, your horde base is basically fucking built, built, built itself <laughs> with a lot less effort than you may have to do now because now you have to actually it's just not like it's hard to make the stuff like it's really not hard in the slightest but but more effort is more effort okay I wasn't sure if there's something in that la no, laundry basket fucking Yes, the lawn, the good old, good old laundry basket. Everyone's favorite place to store food. Uh, fuck this. I think while we're out, we're just gonna like eat the meow chow and drink this yucca juice. Part of a balanced diet: cat food and yucca juice. Sounds like the 29 Palms California Special. <laughs> Cat food and yucca juice. Mmm. Yummy. 
Uh, anything in this shelf? No, we kind of picked those clean. Now we're going to go through the produce section. Grab all the seeds and all the rotten stuff. seeds, you get rotten flesh, which you can use to make the things you plant the seeds in. Pretty good, pretty good, really good POI. If you need food stuff, or want food stuff. Otherwise, you may want to look somewhere else. Because, <laughs> I mean, the shelves in general have got, like, decent stuff on them, too. Like, not, not strictly just food. Mostly, mostly just food in here. Uh, we can spare. We can. We'll use the pipe to repair our, our little shooty gun. Okay, nothing there. A little bit of foul trash here, and there's a book in the foul trash. Okay. Soon tools quality three. A few more of those books, and we'll be making some better things. Okay, that's it in here, actually. That's, like, the last bit of, like, loot container loot, I think. There might be something else, but I, I could, couldn't be bothered at this point. We're, we're so weighed down with shit. I, like, I'm glad I went back and did what I did, because we're basically full to the max. I'm so full, uwu. If this um, ground floor is more defendable, I would have my stuff down there, but there's no way in hell. It's so easy for them to just kind of walk in. Stats here. Food's a little lower than it. The food could be higher, rather. <clears throat> so let's eat this. All right. Grab our dew collectors because they're done too. That's just more free water. We've been largely subsisting off of just like the random garbage. Might try to make some more I okay, got all like a little our little farming seeds up here. I might try to make some more red tea though, because these are they're much better than normal water. Sixteen minutes? Fine by me. I'm not gonna be here. Or do a quick round of fixing stuff. Those cobblestone rocks are done now. And we, uh, we got over a thousand. Let's sort this thing so we can see. Okay, not too bad.
No, we're not doing that. Oh, I think there's probably still some stuff in the bike, too. So let's, uh... Yeah, there's more stuff in the bike. Damn it. <laughs> Thought I had everything out already. Fix those two things up real quick. That can't go on those, but I'll put that in. I'll put these kind of in there, in the bo other box over here. All right, cool. <clears throat> Honestly, this these might be worth swapping over from these because. It's not much less armor, but it's a lot quieter and makes it where we take less stamina while running around. And yeah, I think in the long run it'll be smarter to do that. We'll keep that for later. All right. I'm coming for you. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> Just plowed right into him. You new ass you! Yeah! Well, I already looted your shit. Oh. Uh You've made my day. Come speak with me, friend. Hmm. That would be nice on my spear. Hmm. I could probably get that other places though. Um. It's either gonna be this or probably this. It's it's gonna be this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Infested clear, clear north. Piggy bank. Okay. All right. Uh, this would be a good get. But I might just wait until we find one. Like, that's not strictly like impossible to just kind of find out and about. Uh, I was hoping he made it had some cobblestone rocks we could buy. Don't see any though. Raffle world! Raffle world! Excellent! <laughs> uh, forgetting elixir. Now much cheaper than it used to be. It used to be like prohibitively expensive. Ooh, you're... You're really tempting me there with that one. That would be, that would make Horde Knight literally a cakewalk. Like, I could probably do it in my sleep with a freaking shotgun like that. Thank you, Survivor. Well, right back soon. I get new merchandise daily. I'm sure you do. Where's our fucking bike? It's out here. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have double looted that, that, sh that Shamway. I mean, we got a lot of good stuff out of it, but I should be just doing single quests. Na 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 Well <laughs> I have killed once and I will kill again. <laughs> Let's see, we got tools digest. Stone tools quality four, we'll probably just make those real quick. We got robotic stuff. And then we've got knuckles. Crafting and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles. <laughs> Let's 
see. Stone, wood, let's grab these out and we'll make that tier four axe. Oh yeah, we already have a tier four shovel. But like just upgrading this is like another like point like another three block damage and that's not even including the mods. So yeah. Well worth our time. Oh whatever. Thank you. 
All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, with this with this POI, we're gonna we're gonna double with this shit. It's got like way too much good stuff in it, like ATMs and safes and stuff. So we'll go through, clear it, and then go back get our, that jailbreakers candy. So we can just kind of pick lock all this stuff really easily. Line for goo. <laughs> and y'all are impatient. Oh, there you are. Right in the leg. This isn't a harder difficulty, I would not be like zooming through this quite as fast. Ooh, book yeah, books especially. Like places with books are like gold mines for just leveling up really quick. So we're definitely double looting this. Okay, we're finished in there. I have <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I know, I know they they fall on the ceiling right there. To like, pun try to punish you for your greed of, oh, look at all these ATMs! Full of delicious money. I like money! <laughs> We got a, a dome trash, not a dome trash can, a dom trash can. We are encumbered, okay, that's not a surprise. I'm just grabbing literally everything that exists in this world. This has got a little bit of everything, like loot-wise. Well, except for like heavy tools or whatever, but you know what, whatever. a door previously in previous alphas they didn't have like the tech or whatever to do elevator doors I wonder if that means in the future they'll actually have like working elevators that would be cool Someone threw him in there. That was, that's unfortunate. Oh, I hear a dude. It's a police officer. Yeah, you, you, you want to kill those quick because they'll explode otherwise. You don't want that. Tubbly bubbly dude. It, he has jiggle physics. A few of the other zombies do as well. But distinctly, he also has jiggle physics, which is funny to me. little security office. A slightly better knife. 
knife might be good enough to actually like destroy stuff in one go. Nothing personal. Ooh, pistol purse. Love to see that. Yeah, it's not really worth our spot there. We're gonna just eat this. Keep us nice and fed and happy for quite some time. I, I mostly know about this. Um, this POI, because somebody that I watch play this game is living in this POI. So that's why I mostly know about it. That's real good, because that gets you a, um, reload 15% faster. It used to be much, I think it used to be 30%. Oh, shit, get, get, stop crawling around like that. Get the fuck down there. Stop crawling around there, soldier. What do you think this is boot camp? <laughs> you fucking, fucking boot ass, fucking nub. There you go. Got him. Well, I guess that's all the most of the main loot here. Some more stuff. What's gonna? Over here, grab it. Take that apart, but I don't really think I care. Didn't really see too many safes, but I also wasn't really looking super hard either. So let's head back up. Let's see if there's any safes I can unlock. There's definitely ATMs. Big boy. Oh, yeah, there's the, the brain is just bong. Get all one singular potato. way out of here because I don't think these are very particularly fast to break no that they aren't I could probably just go back out through the ceiling. Yeah, I should definitely do that. That'd be way faster. Maybe, maybe not. You know what? Do that. There we go. Good as new. We're we're out.
Pipe shotgun quality three. Uh, yeah, we're gonna come back. I wouldn't be double looting this stuff so much if they were, were, didn't kept giving me just really good POIs here. Like that piggy bit, like those ATMs can have a lot of just money in them, and that might be what just what I need to um, afford that uh, double barrel shotgun I had my eye on. Oh, all right. <laughs> Got him. Just to let you folks know, the Trader Joe's will be closing soon. <clears throat> Hi, Pookie. My child, what do you want? He probably wants me to take pull the blinds down, but my window, but nah. Eh. All right, let's grab that sh that uh jailbreaker candy. How's this looking? Eh. Over to, over the rest of the night, we'll uh, that that um dew collector will get us more water. But for now, we got a we got a bank to freaking rob. <laughs> There's also a police car. There's one right here, too. Let's take that candy. Now. And now we have a 100% chance to pick lock some stuff. Well, it lasts for five minutes. Uh, not like super great, but could be worse. Kind of keeping my peepers open for other cop car. Oh, there's one out here, out front too. Here, oh. This is the next building over. There's a Ma, Ma Baker and Sons Bakery. <laughs> Baker, I think you're the big hedgehog around here. <laughs> These assholes got a lot of nice goodies in their cars. All the more reason for it to be uh, my stuff and not theirs. I see you, dear. Oh, you didn't you didn't actually die eh whatever Ooh, 
Well, if we end up not getting, uh, if we end up not being able to get that, that double barrel shotgun, ooh. if we end up not getting that double barrel shotgun, Son of a bitch. Oh, that sounds like a wandering horde. Maybe. What are you doing? What are you where are you hopping? Where are you hopping, you feral bitch? Jesus. She's just hopping in mid hopping in midair. Landing in midair. Like a fool. I guess she was just really excited to die. <laughs> Nice, alright. ATM, give. That is why I'm double looting this place. <laughs> These goddamn ATMs are amazing. Two more in here for us to get. I can't remember if there was any other ATMs anywhere in this building. So I want to head downstairs real quick. Just to make sure. No, oh, well, that's not any. That wasn't any like, other ones down here. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, let's head back up top. Grab our, our spoils. From those two ATMs. Cause this one is gonna give us another nine hundred bucks. And this one will give us another thousand bucks. Like that's like four thousand dollars worth of stuff. Basically traded 300 bucks with the jailbreakers candy for like 4,000, so. Well worth. Was she making that all that noise? I guess.
Now, do I have skill points? I have one. And honestly, we're about to have another. Hmm. Barely even need to use this because they're just, as you can see, we're just like running around. The chickens are just like there, <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about that. It's hard to skill point though. We're probably gonna just put it in uh, Mother Load. They'll get us more stuff. Or we can put this into strength, and then next level up, we can put get that and now make our tools more yeah we'll do that that's probably smarter anyway oh that got our attention oh you can actually get up here maybe you shouldn't have though <laughs> Maybe you fucking shouldn't have. Give me a second to look at my Discord stuff. Looks like my ran out of disk space. Ha <laughs> ha uh, For recording, so I'll have to get this VOD off of... I have a feeling I have to get the freaking VOD for last week's seven days as well, I want to say. Uh, Jesus. I was, I, was, I was wondering. So let me, give me a sec, I gotta look at my VOD's crap here. So we got stuff for Skies of Arcadia to this morning, which is about four hours. Let me move that to its proper place. I Man, I probably should be doing this after stream, but. but yeah, wow, seven days takes a lot of freaking, um, a lot of freaking, um, memory for its like VOD stuff uh, that's Valheim I'll move that real quick since I recognize that's about the Valheim VOD Val yeah the Valheim VOD nah, nah, nah. So, okay, that's the oh yeah that's right I had the freaking um, the um, VODs for uh, Wednesday and Thursday got split because I was using a shitty version of OBS. So, I'll have to deal with those later too, but Yeah, I think I need to I think I have to download the VODs for 7 days in Zelda um this week for last week and then this one too. So, I'll have to do that later. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. That's 379 megabytes free. What the fuck? Uh, Twitch vods. Let's look. Oh, it's because I haven't actually like cleared it out yet from like where it's still reserved. Let me just do that real quick. I was I was wondering. I was like, wait, how is that? There we go. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> anyway. Let's... Hmm, should I even bother grabbing these? I probably should. 
Oh, hello. Aren't you gross? Yep. Oh, that's how you like. Wait, was this always open? Can you can you just like? I feel like they broke through that. Call it a hunch. I think that's what we looted earlier. Oh, there's an oh, there's another ATM I almost missed. Well, we'll see if uh, I get into it. There's a dude cl climbing his way over here, so he might get me. He might tag me a little bit. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, he almost got me. Almost. Yeah, I would have missed about another thousand bucks. Jeez. <laughs> I'm busy. I mean, I'm not like. I'm not like strictly um I'm not strictly do playing stuff that's like super copyright or anything anyway, so I could probably just like get my vods from Twitch now. I'm still considering switching over to YouTube at some point, but for now we're just kind of living life. All right, big man. Fancy trash can. That's that's me. Nice. Okay, so there's like four ATMs at the piggy bank place. Uh, wrench quality too. That's not bad. A bunch of pipe weapons from the uh, police cars. Stone arrows. And there's a mod we can probably just toss in like here for now just to clear up the space. Let's drink that. I'll probably just drink this too just to kind of get rid of it. $4,000 from those ATMs. And that that is explicitly why you want to like be good at lock picking. <laughs> Cause goddamn. All right. Well. Oh, this police car is locked again. Interesting. Well, we're gonna worry about getting the the quest cleared first. I know there's a bird up here. I see that bird. Oh, there's another one, huh? Are there any other fucking birds I should know about? Who's your bird? <laughs> Are you my bird? No, oh, I missed ya. I missed you so much. I barely grazed her. Okay, got him. Ooh, tier four uh, metal helmet. Might as well upgrade it. It's slightly better defensively. If you're gonna have the, if you're gonna have the um, the lowered stats from equipping the metal stuff, you might as well have one that's better. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna give it a get this because that will get us even more block damage.
Whomst. Don't want to like fall off here. No, oh, there he is. Seriously. Okay, got him. I probably need to make more of these arrows, uh, the birds. Oh, sure, why not? It'll give me something to do while. It'll give me something to do with the. Uh, to give me something to do while I'm going through here. Stone quality five. I'm gonna have to make that at some point because that'd be another mod slot too for the stone spear. And now my little axe is strong enough to destroy these busted up chairs. Uh, shotgun, okay. Water. You'll find plenty of water down there. Be sneaky with spears. I said, I said it's possible. Not that you. That's gonna. Now we're gonna hop some more. You were just taking a nap, weren't you? Yep. It sounds like it. Looks like it. Feels like it. Tastes like it. Ah, we got a safe in here now that's actually, like, lootable. Okay. Any more goodies here? No. Stomping around trying to get their way in here now for like the next like 10 years because this is like bulletproof glass. So we got like four ATMs and a safe in here to kind of get through at some point. I don't know what book that was, but I saw we got one. Yeah, you keep doing that. Get like their attention. If we could have them all coming over here and pile to break it down, that'd be great. Because then they'd actually have a chance of breaking it down in the next 10 years. Ooh. Well, that's better. Excuse me. Well, they're trying so hard. I think it's this door there was a dude behind. I know there was a dude like right behind one of these doors last time. Synchronized loser swiping. <laughs> okay.
They've actually done noticeable damage to that, but yeah, I'll probably be done long before they get done. <laughs> That's what they do. They explode when they if they get you damage them too much. They explode. Alright, well all the zombies in the POA are dead. clubs and I might as well grab the stuff. Okay, and we got a book, a shitty knife, some food, and a laser sight. Okay. Sounds like they're really trying to get in that that place. Nope. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> Did I miss a key somewhere or something that would unlock that? Or maybe it wasn't designed with that in mind. I don't really know, but I'm probably just going to go up and help them break it down. <laughs> this would be faster than me trying to like get out of here myself. All right, come here, fuckers. Hey, Lois, you ever go down? You ever go down a ladder into the sewer? <laughs> that zombie looks like Lois Griffin. <laughs> do that that way once I have more ability to get into stuff we'll come back and get it so about four ATMs a safe and this police car we can get into
let's run very slowly into his into his shop. Each day is a blessing. Thank you, survivor. Let's My see. And I are in your well, most of the stuff's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. The forged steel is probably our best uh, choice. And we might not ever get to use it because I don't know when we'll be playing this again after uh, today. But and for the long haul, the forged steel is probably our best, our best choice there. Uh. I've got a job Ooh, that's oh, thank you. what we're doing the rest of the day. Make it worth your while. That is one you 100% double loot. Because that's a crack of book. That's that's a bookstore. Pleasure doing business with you. Pair that, and now it's suddenly worth like double. And we can sell this all for like fifty six hundred, which is a lot of XP too, by the way. Because when you sell when you sell stuff, you gain XP. <laughs> Y'all come back now. I think we can afford actually afford that um that double barrel. We can. One hundred percent worth. We had a, we had a, we had very little trouble as it was with the horde last time. And we didn't even have really, like, we had the machine gun, I guess, but like, other than that, yeah, like, we were just supposed to use the, we used some Molotovs, and we used, um, we used some Molotovs, and we used the spear, and that's basically it. <laughs> but now we got a double barrel shotgun, so they're even more screwed than they were pre previously. Well, I guess we're not completely out of money. No. God, I hate this fucking ground floor. It's so insecure. Okay, well, that's like a ton of, um, what do I have down here? Oh, bandages. That's a lot of, like, pipe, pipe weapons I can sell. No, nice and fixed up. Put that shotgun away for Horde Knight. This other thing, it's grill. Do I have gunpowder somewhere? Surely I do. Yeah, I've got like, oh yeah, I, I think of one of the quest rewards I took was like 500. So with that, we could actually use this buckshot and try to make some shotgun shells. That is the one real good use of paper is uh, shotgun ammo. Make like 38 of them. Easy, yeah, that's super worth.
fancy. This thing's got 20 damage. This thing's 22 before getting boosted. Just trying to see if there's maybe some other mod I could put in this spear, but I don't think there is. Okay. I think we have everything emptied out here. I don't think I put much in here. No, there's not anything in there. What are you breaking? Why? No. Oh. Damn it, now I gotta go back upstairs and put that stuff away. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try this again. Because I want to clear out that cracker book. Largely, mostly because it's got skill books that we were going to want. Okay, let's look here at like workstations. Advanced engineering and lockpicking. We do have that so we'll get books like that a lot of the ones that you see we have a lot of books in or mostly the ones we'll find probably find books in we'll find probably books in everything though but those specifically are like more likely but Yeah, I'd almost say, like, almost no matter what your stance is on double looting stuff. If there's one thing you want to probably double loot, it's the goddamn bookstore. There's just book piles everywhere. Bookshelves everywhere. Like, look, we already just found something. Like, that's just really good. Other than that first thing, we'll just kind of compile all the shit we find, I guess. Mm, these shelves are looking a little bare. Don't you fucking touch the- Don't you touch the books, you fuck! Dang, already another level? Then again, we did get a lot of XP from uh, selling the stuff. Don't he's just dead. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop and like ponder about what I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing everything off the shelves as fast as possible. Like I'm going to this, this is like I'm going to the Scholastic Book Fair. Hi, Worm. What's up, buddy boy? What's up, fuckaroo? doing my best not to peep at all of my inventory of stuff. I'm just gonna just grab it and go. What oh, football helmet? Okay. I'd say this is probably one of the, like, especially after, like, the magazines and stuff update and this alpha like this is one of the best POIs in the game bar <laughs> bar none just for the fact of how much how many books and stuff you get from Ooh. I would say you should give her a hand 
But you lost yours. <laughs> You get down here where I can get get a good look at you. That's what I thought. I mean, sometimes you just get paper from these bookshelves, but more often than not, a lot of these are better than they have ever have been in a long like. And one out or another, they replaced the the old style bookshelves that they had with these newer ones that were just really bad. Like enough to like almost to the point where like these books, these POIs were not worth coming to unless you had a really high game stage. But with the advent of all the magazine stuff, these are suddenly very good again. Again, I'm not really looking at what I have so far. I'm gonna take this corn though. That's just free corn. And that's the best kind of corn. I think for now we're gonna just try to clear all the zombies in here because there's still some. There's gonna be some back, like maybe one or two back here. Oh, literally two. Don't you hit me, rude ass. Get off the- what are you- what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you hopping around? Fucker, you're just hopping around like he's a little monster. Like a little monster man. Like he's a little Frankenstein dude. Alright, where are the birds? If they have you come po like if they have you come up to a place like this, there's almost always like at least one or two birds. And the birds kind of look like garbage, so it's <laughs> it can be sometimes hard to tell if it's a bird or if it's garbage. Probably a dog in here. At least remember there being a dog in here. Yep. Yep. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Now I know that dog keeps appearing in the same place. Alpha after alpha. Excuse me. Uh, nothing in there anyway. potted plant. There's a bed up here. Alright, there's our leather trunk with... I mean, not the worst. I think that, that's, that's most of the loot. There might be a bit more down there, like in the back room there. So, we'll hold off on our uh, our book reading fucking extravaganza, because we're going to have a lot of books to read. <laughs> I 
That bird might still be over here. Oh! Just exploded his head with just the sheer power of my thrust. Promotion. No, oh, there's just bones and shit everywhere. Alright, oh, holy hell. <laughs> We've got a lot of books. Uh, mostly just trying to, like, make room for, like, all the feathers. Actually, I had room for the feathers, so let's make a uh, make arrows out of those. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few. There's quite a few things. I'm not really taking super stock in all of it right this second. I might. No, I kind of want to keep that. Hmm. We'll scrap that. All right, let's get back down there. I have bones and all the other stuff, I think. care about clay soil. We can get that if we really need it. Mm, I don't really need that either. Acid though. Mm. Mm. I, I want to say we're probably just fine on water honestly. Like I don't want to be wrong about that, but as you can see, let's just look at our books now. Let's sort. Yeah, as you can see, we got a lot of books. Like six explosives, five of those, two of these, four of those, four of those, two of these, which well, we'll need one. Eleven of the freaking uh, spear ones. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was like a book case uh, place back here or not. Let's try pick lock in this. It's probably the only thing in this POI that needs like open like this, so we'll try it. Oh, we got in first try. We'll take those. Uh, okay. Oh, we can make iron tools now. Oh, I did miss a few. Probably gonna have some uh, some unwanted guests.
Well, all things considered, that was a stellar freaking raid. Let's head back home. Drop stuff off and we'll come back and by the time that is, it'll probably be morning and then we can do it again. <laughs> Extra arm rating and can shove in somewhere. Probably just in these little leggings here. Let's see, I'm not gonna use that. Shotgun, spear, I'm not gonna use that really either. If you don't run away after me stumbling over, like, my bicycle like that, it's your own damn fault if I shoot you. <laughs> like, you obviously wanted to die if you didn't run after me stumbling over my two left feet. <laughs> More like my two left tentacles, you know? <laughs> I think I kind of poke around the outside a little. Well, that's the that's the sham way that we raided uh, a few days ago. Taco truck out here. Not really gonna, not gonna bother it because we, we're, we're on a mission, okay? I want to actually get this done. Quiet this right now. I 
know there's some up that like should be falling down from somewhere. I'm trying to be noisy. Oh, <laughs> uh, how fucking delightful. I love it. Stumbled right out and just got turned into um, a sculpture. Jesus Christ, that's like louder than anything in this fucking game. Step on like a piece of floor and it explodes into like 10 million decibels of sound. Dead at him. I see the trash bird over there. Trash bird destroyed. Uh, I got like a hundred something arrows. There's nothing else I'll really be using the, air the feathers for anyway, so I might as well just make more and more air with these stone arrows. Jesus. That is the chief problem with the spear is that you have to be at least somewhat accurate. Honey, get off your knees. Wow, th this this time it's it's absolutely just frothing full of zombies, huh? Right in his, right in his booty hole. Where's the other one? Is he downstairs now? Well, I know there's a dog up here, so let's just... Let's go deal with this clown and then we'll go start scooping up all the loot. Yeah, I think he probably fell down the skylights. Yeah, almost certainly did. Yep, he was the last one. Okay. Be a few less interruptions now. Check these little end caps there. Okay, those are empty. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of those sch schematics for that, um, like, off-road light or whatever. It's weird. It's like an oddly common thing. <laughs> <coughs>
Yep. Don't strictly care what books I get, because almost all of them are going to be useful or good for me to grab. And they'll help me make better stuff or do things a little better. Usually those kind of go hand in hand. Like, like being able to make a better like weapon lets you kill stuff better, which lets you get more loot faster. So on and so forth. It's not a terribly complicated concept, I can't, I can't imagine. Ooh, I saw a schematic for that uh, wood cutting mod. That's actually. Of interest, those mods like that make your tools much more effective at, like, doing what they're supposed to do to, like, you know, get resources or whatever, so. That is a welcome find. Even if I end up having to make one myself, I definitely would take it. And there... Before long, our game stage is going to be getting to the point where we start finding feral zombies, like in POIs as sleepers. So, like, our days of living off the fat of the land are probably not going to be lasting too much longer. But for now, it's just like super easy just to kind of bowl over basically everything that spawns in these POIs. I want to make sure I get all the books. So far so good. There's some more upstairs on the roof too. And the boxes and just in some more piles. There's like an extra skill point look floating around there. Well, I can get it put it in boomstick. We're actually gonna be using a shotgun on Horde Knight, probably, so. And we'll hold on to it for this for now. Damn, they are just destroying the solid brick. Fucking pickaxe hand motherfuckers. Wasn't even the one I was looking at. We're gonna repair our wrench here. Okay, and then we got another. Jesus Christ! What? What are you doing in here, mister? What are you doing in here? Okay, maybe not like... Can I hit... Can I hit the zombie, please? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Swing it. He just made a little exit fucking thing right out here. God damn, dude. Also, yeah, my accuracy was horrific there. Just swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Fucking Claude. Call me Jean Claude Van Damme. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking Claude. Um, mostly just read that so I have space for this chair to scrap it. Eh, we'll, we'll try to pick this. Let me pick that. Let me, let me pick that. <laughs> Mm, that's nice. I 
All right. And that one, the little um, bandit is two armor. All these one-off thingies I'm gonna read just to kind of get them out of here let's look at this this and uh, vehicles uh, grease monkey I might put um, point to Grease Monkey so we can start finding more of those books. Yeah, I feel like that's a, a wise choice. We can make mushroom spores. Yeehaw. We, we can make corn. And we gotta level up. Anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. I think there's like gonna be a, I think there's gonna be another airdrop like another like five seconds. <laughs> <clears throat> find it shortly. Ooh, that's the that's the new spear book. Uh, previously in previous off uh, this book was to learn how to craft steel spears, but since that's part of the crafting system now, uh, that this makes it where spears just can cause bleed damage passively, which is busted. Oh, that's also busted. P water purifying, okay, that's good. Frankly, that's, well, that's gonna be the POI, so just look, read everything. Bellows. Craft cigar. Ooh, that's a good one too. Well, that was a very successful raid. Or rather, a very successful double raid. I just haven't made one of those yet. Iron tools quality three. Those might be worth actually making and using. Where am I going? Just kind of going.
good old green sub. All right, trader boy. First, we're gonna stop back at the base, drop stuff off, grab syllables, and do that whole song and dance again. Even, do I even have anything? No, I just didn't have anything in there at all. Yeah. Th we want, we're gonna want this on, like, if we're doing, like, a certain activity that takes a lot of stamina, we're gonna wanna put this on there, because that, um... Reduces stamina usage by 10% on its own. So, for, for now, we're going to at least probably just keep it in there. Uh, food. Yeah, we can probably make use of it. I'll drink a few of these to kind of keep us nice and satiated. All right, cool. Dump things in there. Some in there, scrap those. Repair. Those are extra books we can sell. We can sell all that stuff too. Skill point. Uh, should I put that in this? I probably. Sh it's probably smart if I do that because. That's OP. <laughs> Intellect in groups is OP. Have one person take that and then they can just buff everyone. Yeah. To corrupt a cigar, I think we need testosterone, which comes from bears, which I don't really feel like dealing with one of those right now, but eh, I mean, if the opportunity arises. Joel. It must be my lucky day. Oh, you son of a bitch. Here you go. I could have just gotten one for free. This is spending seven grand, but. And honestly, we could just make our own shovel. So I don't feel like this is worth our time. So we're probably gonna just get. The steel. Yeah. Hmm. I'll grab this one. I have a dilemma. Mama pizza. No matter what, I'm for everything oh, done. we gotta sell shit. Okay, so we got 
back to seven seven grand again. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh, this trader is honestly kind of bad. <laughs> A medical journal. Big hitters. I'll buy the seeds, I guess. Mini bike chassis. Mm -hmm. No. Peace be with you, my friend. It's it's not like horde night or anything. Nice, just rainy. There's some more shotgun ammo. Frankly, that alone would probably that that 38 alone would probably be enough to finish the horde night off. Oh, uh, jeez. Apparently, we got. Oh yeah, from we got a lot of that from the. Um, let's put on some cobblestone rocks. Put on like another 500. Those and. Wait. I w I must have grabbed a lot more of those books than I realized, because I guess we can make tier 5 iron tools now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, well. Man, it's probably worth it. It's just going to take a lot of forged iron. Which we don't have a lot, but we can start just kind of pumping out a bunch more. We'll do that and we'll do that. Yeah, oh, that seems pretty good. All right, let's go. Let's go do this quest. We're not gonna double loot it or anything. We're just gonna like. I'm going. I gotta kill these guys because. That's why. That's why. Okay, well that's not super great. That's not the best either, but you know what? It was free. We'll put those few things in the bike, and we'll keep on keeping on. Plus, we got a nice infusion of XP too. Well, this is a clear and retrieve. Mama Pizza. Ah, whatever. 
MP, MP, Mama Pizza, new Mama Pizza. <laughs> Where's the quest start? Can we order Mama Pizza? No, Mama Pizza for you. I'm not gonna like the outcome of that there, friend. Are you attacking a car? No, you're attacking like a mailbox. Fucking fool. I'm guessing the loot's in here. I wonder if I can sneak in somehow. Maybe if I was less of a buffoon, that would have worked. Aha! I passed their fire trap. Like you're in kindergarten. Enough. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cute. Mama Pizza! Oh, Mama Pizza! The rest of the Zambers. I was right on the other side of this door. Ah, yeah, there's there's the glass. Mama pizza. <laughs> well, I guess I'm inadvertently double looting this place. I mean, I might as well. Like, my time with these quests is like slow because I'm just gathering everything so it kind of behooves me to kind of just double loot these since like it's like nighttime I can't go back to the trader anyway even if I wanted to Mama pizza. <laughs> That's where I'll be entering. I would enter. No one in the freezer. I turn. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's like right in my, f right in my fucking bubble. Ok, 
Okay, I think I've probably cleared the place out. Yeah, there's definitely Zamborinos around. I'll take it. They seem a little um, easily distracted in this alpha. I will not. Um, I will not deny them their ADHD. Should just leave him alone. These bike the bikers are big and scary. Not a big deal though. I can't fucking hit him anyway. Are you serious? Good thing I have like a million fucking arrows. Cause I am bad with this shitty little bow, or maybe the shitty little bow is just well, shitty. Yeah, he see he sensed me. I'm already here. I might as well take advantage of the stuff that's in here. Where the pizza is made. Mama approved pizza. <laughs> this is like the manager's shitty office. Oh, aren't you quick? Well, you were. Not anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get into here. I've been having pretty good luck with safes lately. This one is no exception. Expecting to find that here. Ah, that's where one of the zombies would probably be hiding. Skill points. Um, all right. <laughs> well, we're about to get another skill point really soon. Probably just like. Sounds like they found the rabbit. Gross. God. Keep it to yourself. Get a room. Huh. 
Mamma pizza. Mamma please. Mamma pizza. Hello, welcome to Mama Pizza. <laughs> Pretty sure I've cleaned this place out of zombies and now loot. I say as I completely missed a duffel bag. And a purse. Oh, a lockpick, see? Okay, just kind of go back over things sometimes to make sure you're not missing something. Alright, well, this place is cleaned out now. Mamma Bita! This rain fucking sucks. We're home. Oh, I can probably just like read. Potato. There we go. Get up over. Take a gander at our food options. <laughs> and also our skill point options, because I'm thinking it'd be in our best interest to get Boomstick 2. Super good. And then this one can go there, which gets us even more stuff from our thingies. Okay. We got the cobblestone made there that we were making before we left. We got that. I would like to get my iron tools made while we're like doing other stuff. Um, I 
more specifically, I want this fucking pickaxe. Because this is still kind of fine for chopping wood, but, like, we want a pick... I want a pickaxe. For breaking stone and all that, so... We're just shy on the forged iron. Need three more. And then we'll be in business. Leather six duct, duct tape, okay. Luckily for me, I haven't had to make glue once. I haven't had to make glue once yet. I've been just kind of finding it in loot, which is nice. Right, let's get that crafting. And that needs 48. Which we will get just barely by that so while that stuff's going I'm gonna just kind of store this stuff in there put that away do that and off we go we're gonna go back to that place and finish and actually do the quest But then when we get back, we should have the stuff to... The pickaxe will be done, but we'll have the stuff to, uh... Make a shovel, too. Mama Pizza! <laughs> Me and, my roommate are, me and my roommate are actually gonna have pizza tonight. <laughs> Funny enough, it got, like when when I when I end the stream, like roughly after this next uh, horde night, probably at, like five. At least I get like get like freshened up a little and go get it. <laughs> mama pizza, mama pizza. Yeah, we'll just leave the bike there. All right, mama pizza, let's go. Sorry you got stuck on the floor, honey. <laughs> Mama pizza. What are you doing in the men's room? I mean, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not a fucking gender cop. P40. <laughs> Alright, now we can go up. We can go in through the hole in the wall. Pizza. 
Let's see, we're like all ten of the fucking birds. Asshole. Got, got, <laughs> got your foot. <laughs> Okay, that the the, the the supplies is up here somewhere. Oh, it's just in here. Yeah. Oh, well, that, there's that part. Thank fuck, it's done raining. Mama. Pizza. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Eggs and or bakey. There are you. Where'd you go? There you are. Alright, well, zombies are dead. We got the thing, so we can loot at our leisure now. Not entirely at our leisure. We do have places to be. Ooh, pipe bombs. That's something I'm consider I was considering making, but that honestly might be enough to just kind of get us where we want to go anyway. Weathered sports bag. Welcome to Mama Pizza. Pizza's so good, you'll slap your mama. <laughs> that sounds like some sort of fucking marketing shit they would do for a place like this. Pizza's so good, you'll slap your mama. You know, all sorts of nice little cooking... Um, skill books. I think that, is that cement or is that like flour? It might be flour. Yeah, it's flour. much space we got. I mean, we could probably make space for this flower. Or cornmeal or whatever. I sure love finding bones in the, de in the desk. That's my favorite place to keep bones. <laughs> I mean, don't you keep your bones in a desk? You, got, you have your bone shell, your bone drawer? It's like a knick-knack drawer, except it's just full of human bones. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice. That'll sell, that'll sell pretty well. Well, there wasn't a, there wasn't a pile of books up there this time. Shame. Bless your heart. You're not getting through there anytime soon. Bless your heart. <laughs> kind of got to scoot through here, though, because, like, all this, like, just looting and shit I'm doing just takes a lot of time. Especially when I'm, like, taking almost everything. Like, if I was, if I was avoiding most of these shelves... This wouldn't be taking nearly as long, but I'm like grabbing everything just about. Oh, jeez. Although I feel like we're basically done now. Oh, 
Oh. He's mad now. Damn, you're thick. Ooh, turn your head into a blood fountain, buddy. All right, let's put this zombie down. Hey, Lois. Hey, Lois. Oh, she's dead. Let's get out of here. New Mama Pizza. None of that old mama pizza bullshit. Woo! Got some sick air. I don't know what book that just was, but... Ooh, shotguns, utensils. Ooh. Yeah, these book things are real good. Tempts some more ores when drinking coffee after drinking coffee all right hello random upright purse <laughs> i'll just take a free lock pick i think we broke one back in mama pizza so that works so we're gonna go home drop stuff off turn in the quest And then the rest of the day is going to be spent doing horde night things, like make sure the base is fully fixed up and making adjustments to stuff, making our shovel. Thanks, thanks to our, us doing that one digging session that one night, we've got tons, of, we've got plenty of cobblestone rocks. And frankly, we probably don't even really need to do much to our base for it to be like basically good to go. I'll probably still finish, like, tidying things up anyway, but, like, for the most part, we're basically set to kind of just win the Horde Knight, because we got a double barrel shotgun now, with a few levels of stuff in it so that we, uh, Miso. Oh, Mega Crusher. So that's, that's pretty rare. Let's just use this. The only real advantage these pipe shotguns have over other shotguns is that they repair with small pipes which are extremely easy to find. Otherwise though, it's just better to... What am I doing? I'm just gonna... Put that stuff. Let's put away you. Let's start making the shovel. Let's bring down this beautiful fucking pickaxe. We might not end up using it tonight for anything, but... It'll still be nice to have. Alright. We need like random scrap iron. I could probably throw in here. Just kind of do that and get it going. Right, we're just going to turn this quest in. Takes takes stock of our situation. <laughs> what am 
I doing? Speak with me, friend. Let's see. Oh, that, these quest rewards aren't very good. The ammo is frankly probably the best thing here. Although the mod might be good too. Let's see, job wise, I can't read that. Yellow text and white background is not a good look. I think it says 600. I have a task for you, friend, if you're interested. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. I'll grab that. It probably doesn't makes us friends now. strictly matter. Well, great. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. So if we take this cooling mesh off, we can uh, put that in, and that makes us our, mo our mobility just a little better. For now we can put these, put that in there. I think there's also another little thing I have that gets us a bit more too, so. Yeah, that's the last quest we're gonna be doing this stream. We're not doing it anymore, we're gonna start getting prepped. The major extent to most of that is going to be just making sure I have everything I need for the Horde Knight. There's going to be you. That. I'll probably bring the, the pistol as well. Molotovs. Pipe bombs as well should be... Yeah, this is that one I was talking about that we're probably going to pick. Um, that's an 8 times scope. Jesus. Um... Hmm, weapon flash might. We could use that just to increase gun damage without actually needing to use it for its um, intended purpose of that. Like, if we just put that on there, it gives us another, like, one damage per pellet. So, if something takes the full brunt of this thing, it takes 140 damage, which is silly. And that's, not any, that's not factoring in stuff like um, headshot damage or whatever either. We'll probably put this in the frickin' there too. Just to get more damage out. Nope. Not not with both of those not both of those at least. I wanna see what that looks like. That that that's gotta look a little silly. A frickin' pump shotgun with like a laser sight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is a little silly, but since they're mutually exclusive, I think I'll just put the flash weapon flashlight in there. Put this, I could put this and like this on this right here. As far as our armor goes, we got this uh, customized fittings, which is even more. So let's find another piece of armor that needs more mobility help. Probably gonna be this. You know, as far as pipe bombs go, we have four, but I could probably make quite a bit more. I think it just takes like maybe plant fibers and like iron pipes or something with gunpowder. Let's see. Yep, it's plant fibers, gunpowder, and short iron pipes. Uh, let's make like 16 more of these. Just for the sake of having 20 of them for the Horde Knight. Take our shovel. <clears throat> Put 
that away. That away. Hmm. Yeah, those will be done plenty in, in plenty of time. Uh, let's grab our our money and go see what vending machine stuff he has, because that could very well uh, have a big impact in our Horde Night experience. In part because he might be selling something like, um, I think nerd tats, like make, make explosives do like a lot more damage and stuff like, well, we'll see. Let's look at, our, look at his foods. Let's see. Adam Junkies, never mind. I was thinking Nerd Tats is for the batons. Uh, I, so we want to buy one of these. That will absolutely destroy any oh shits drops. Sometimes you gotta go, sometimes you go oh shits. Be prepared for those oh shits moments, of course. Um... I'll get this, because if we're getting a bunch of uh, salvaging stuff we're going to be doing, we can just get a bunch more out of it. What about drinks? Your pals moonshine. Melee damage, 400%. Holy shit. Nothing makes it settle... Nothing makes settling it the old way easier than a bottle of grandpa's moonshine. Very expensive, but probably very useful for later game Horde Knights when you just need to do more damage. Well, that was fun. I basically bought, like, item junkies. Your days are numbered, bird! I kind of... Eh, whatever. They're numbered, but not by me. <laughs> that might help if we climb the ladder correctly instead of, like, Hanging off the rungs like a monkey. How are these doing? They're almost done. We'll just sit here and wait. I'll take a drink of my ginger ale here. Let me also check my Discord messages. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, there are pop pop, pop bombs, pipe bombs. Jesus, I cannot talk. Can y'all like get out of my yard? Sorry, Mama. Yep, he's dead. All right, let I let's grab my cobblestone rocks if I don't already have them, and some water too for if in case I set myself on fire. I guess while we're out, we can like load up like a bunch of this water and just kind of have it cooking. Yeah, drink like three of these. I should just drink two. Oh well. Okay. 
Okay, 44 minutes. Uh, that's a lot of right clicking. God, that takes so damn long. Killed, killed a lot of time just doing that, but let's grab all our rocks and we got hammer, we got waters for unfortunate accidents that I might make. Let's kind of get all of our fun stuff down here. Probably not going to be strictly necessary, but let's grab this for our spear tonight. It'll make it not only do more damage, but less stamina cost by a non-zero amount. So everything else we're not using, we're gonna put down here. <clears throat> our shotgun there, have our hammer there, have that there. Uh, let's bring our water down too, in case I set myself on fucking fire. Okay, so that's going. Let's. Don't, let's not forget repair kits. That'd be uh, a silly mistake. Forge iron and duct tape. We can start making a few more of those, I guess. Like two more, probably. Like, or maybe just like one more, because I don't know if we have we have we can make exactly one more. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Let's hop down here. Let's close this so they don't get any funny ideas. I'm pretty sure I fixed all this last uh, last time. So this is still very much so like fully functional. This doesn't need to be more than that. I did fuck this up though, I think. Or, I, I fucked something up, I can't remember what it was, but. Oh, that's right, this this spot was meant to be a, um, that spot was meant to be, Now we can just uh, do this and because uh, we're almost certainly going to see uh, birds tonight, so having this upgraded is probably smart. There's a very high chance that we're going to see some vultures. Let's get back in here. Start upgrading these. That's something else I messed up, is these hatches. I was gonna have them flip sideways. I can see if I can fit enough time in to do this, but... It's probably not wise to do this, but, you know.
damn it, I, I screwed myself. Because now I won't let you, now I won't let me place anything. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's a, that's because there's a frame there still. Well, I guess I'm. All right. Well. Okay, yeah, I prob I'm probably not going to have to do much this whole night. Just, like, poke them when they come up here. That's probably about it. However, I do want to use this shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. How about y'all, uh, get comfortable? Oh damn it, I forgot the, the learning elixir. Oh well. Y'all uh, enjoy that. Goodbye. Yeah, that's why I need to like throw it there. But, oh, let's also use the thing I bought on purpose. Oh yeah. That's amazing, just...
Well, there's certainly a few more zombies this time than were last than there were last time. I'll tell you that. Y'all break the stairs. Fucking fools. No, you didn't break the stairs, you're just stupid. <laughs> so that's most, well, we got some loot bags. Yeah, that's why people usually build the uh, little pyramid stairs on the sides so that they have an easier time getting up because for as like super smart as these zombies are, they're also sometimes very dim. Very dim. Well, that was mostly painless. We went through like nine pipe bombs, a Molotov or two, and mostly spearing after that. One of them must have ran by and smacked the wall a little bit or something. Well, that was, um, a thing that happened. <laughs> See how this iron shovel performs. Two shots this dirt. Good, because I'm gonna like double up this these sides. Well, I didn't set my fire self on fire, so that's good. that with one or two skill points and with the other one I should probably do something like this so when I was throwing those pipe bombs like a lot of their body parts are just flying everywhere it was great
Man, these little, these little trees are great. Easy wood. And that's uh, day 14. On default settings. Alright, the trees have been replanted. We got a bunch more wood. Let's finish upgrading this bit. Oh, we need to pick up these loot bags. I don't know if they ever, like, disappear. But I'd rather them not. I just kind of forgot about them, honestly. Let's see a book in there. That's trash. That's trash. That's trash. We'll hold on to that, although I think I can just make tier fours, so yeah. Well, unfortunately I don't think our loot was supremely very good. But them's a brick. Sometimes you just don't get good stuff. Get like about five to seven minutes left. I think there's an airdrop I need to mark still. Yeah, it's like way up here. Probably not going after that one until we get a uh, motor motorized vehicle. I'll tell you that I'll just kind of tell you that one right now. I'm not gonna go after that. Granted, the um, the airdrops seem like they're better than they have been in a long time, scaling wise. So maybe it would be worth their time, but. I didn't end up using really all that much of our, um, not re didn't really use up all the m much of our, um, shotgun. If anything, the pipe bombs are like the real carrier of a lot of that horde night there. Yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna fill this in. It's gonna take like five minutes to fill this in. This will just ensure that they can't knock the damn thing down unless they unless they're trying real fucking hard.
I see a rabbit over there. I see that fucking rabbit over there. Just making like a solid piece of... Just a solid slab of fucking brick, basically. Let's get up here and, uh... Yeah, I'll just double down on this bit. Nice, level up, 23. Yeah, I probably would have gotten like a few more, like a level up more or two from uh, the Horde Knight if I had remembered the learning elixir. But I did not. For this, let's kind of clear out some of this garbage around the area. Okay, we're gonna be putting these in. Don't really need these, but n now I'm kind of just gonna fill them in anyway. Shape menu. We got our. We got our. Our. These set as our favorites already. The whole purpose of these is to give them an easier path up to me. Because the whole point is for them to come to me and die. <laughs> thing I'm gonna do is um, get some stairs and put them like that. We could use a ramp, but I mean stairs look nice, look kinda neat. It's like a give me the Minecraft vibes of using stairs for your roof. Okay, well. Honestly this thing's probably more than capable of standing up to like the next horde without much more improvement. Although we'd probably want to get iron hatches for next time. Well, they can... I don't know if they're going to stay there, but we're going to stop here. <laughs> I don't know if that, that wandering horde will just be there. Ugh. Yeah, it's nice to see that going back to version 28 of OBS stopped the weird thing I was having with... Um,